I have been working on these pants. I just finished putting in the front zipper and putting the side front to the front and then I did some top stitching. Once these pants are on, the zipper will be hidden so I just used a zipper that I already had in my stash. These are the pants from Nomi 2054 and I'm using an olive green denim fabric from Joann Fabrics. I have one pocket attached and all done and now I just need to go ahead and put this pocket on the other leg. To do my top stitching I'm lining up this red line here on the presser foot with the seam on the pants and the needle is to the left a little less than a quarter inch away and then I'm stitching all the way down and if you're interested I will link this presser foot in the description below. I decided to take this little flap here from Nomi 2024 and I added it to these pants because I thought that was a really cute feature. Now I'm going to work on the cargo pockets. There are six cargo pockets in this pattern, but I'm only using two. And I decided to put the two pockets on the side of the leg instead of on the front of the leg. I also decided to lengthen this flat piece. So here's the flat piece all done. And I added about, I think this is an inch. These dots indicate where the top cargo pocket is supposed to go. I moved this dot down an inch. Since I was putting the pocket on the side of the pants, I didn't want the pocket to be up as high. So that's why I moved the pocket down. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it right on this line or on those dots and stitch it down. The pants are finished with this tie that goes at the bottom of the pants leg. Here is the bottom of my pants leg and I decided not to add the tie, but I did lengthen the pants by one inch. If you decide to make the pants just as they are on the pattern envelope, you will need to cut out 20 pattern pieces. There are 10 pockets total. The pattern does call for three notions, D rings, a hook and eye, and a zipper. Now the smallest size in this pattern is a 10 and normally when I'm making pants I usually cut and sew a size 6, a size 8 or somewhere in between. So when I saw the smallest size was a 10 I was like oh my goodness what am I going to do? Now I know that you can grade patterns up and you can grade patterns down but by there being so many pattern pieces I really didn't want to take the time to do that. So I thought about it and I was like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I just deepen my seam allowance. Here is my presser foot with an adjustable seam guide. The first line here is the 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I moved my seam guide over about a quarter of an inch and I placed my fabric here and I just sewed on that line for all of my major seams. For any pockets and embellishments, I just did the regular 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now, I don't know if this will work all the time. I merely did this as an experiment and I liked the results so I wanted to share what I did in order to get the pants to look the way that they do. I did make a test garment first sewing the deeper seam allowance and I was really happy. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for my real pair of pants. After making the test garment, I also decided to bring down the pants a little bit because I thought they came up a little high. I just folded out a half inch on the pattern pieces and folded it down and taped it. And then I had to make that same adjustment on the front pocket piece so that everything would continue to line up. is participating in a 5k to raise money for cancer and I'm so happy that he's doing this I'm here to support him we got here really really early and we walked around he picked up his t-shirt and he picked up I forgot a bib that's what it is he picked up his bib 
So things haven't started yet, but I'm enjoying learning about cancer, picking up some pamphlets and things like that. So wanted to share what we're up to for the day. So this race is actually taking place in Beverly Hills. We're sitting in a neighborhood, we're parked in a neighborhood, and these houses are just so beautiful. And we have about, I think, is it about an hour before the race starts now? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you feeling, baby? I'm touched. Touched. Okay. I can understand. The race for cancer is touching and it brings out memories and you remember loved ones who have passed on. So it is definitely touching, but it's definitely a great experience to be a part of. So I am so proud of him and I'm so happy to be here to support him on this journey. And I'm sure it won't be the last one. It's not his first and I'm sure there'll be more. It starts at 8.30. It's like a half an hour from now. You think it's too soon to go? No, we can walk over there if you want. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to start walking over because I want to stretch. We have over 600 people registered for this race. Amazing. Yeah. Um. Go ahead, Zoe. Three, two, one. Congratulations, hats off. Look at that. Here comes my husband. Let me Good job, line. you guys. Smiles. Proud he of you did all. It, he did it. Hey! Good job. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Holding hands. I'm so happy. He did it. 29 minutes. I had the timer going. He asked me to time it. Here we go. 14. Great no. job. Give me a water. Yeah, I'll get you water. Get you water. Dang, I should have been getting the water the whole time. <laughs> Let me get water. Let me get water. Look at that. Everybody's so excited. We're going out to eat after this. How do you feel? We had to stop for like 10 seconds for traffic too. Oh wow, so I should take 10 seconds off the time. Well, see, yeah, I'm still happy I made it. It'll be 29, 29, 40, 29, 30. where we really celebrate these runners. Did you run the whole time or did you walk? Yeah, you I, I stopped it only for when we got to mile three and they stopped for traffic to come through. If they wouldn't have stopped for traffic, I'll run the whole time. But I was running in place right there. But yeah, I ran the whole time. It's, it's harder than running on the treadmill. Wow. Now we're going to grab some breakfast at this restaurant called Pans. P-A-N-N apostrophe S in L.A. Never been there before, but I noticed it one time when we were driving near the airport and it was busy. So I was like, oh, that place might be good. 